There is a girl in the lobby of a cheap hotel. She's got her eyes fixed on the floor. Hey guys, it's Marla, and thanks for clicking on this video. So today's video is gonna be all about how to slay the Instagram game, how to take good photos, how to pose in photos, and just like a few tips that helped me in that my mom's doing the dishes. Sorry. So I'm just gonna be telling you guys like tips that help me and that I've seen that like work. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first tip is to look in the mirror. I know it sounds like really like weird, but look in the mirror and kind of pose and pretend that you're modeling because then you can figure out that like what works for you and what you look good. So like for me, I don't look good like this. So I ain't gonna pose like this. I learned that in the mirror. Basically just find your go-to look. So mine is um, raising my eyebrow, my, this, I can only raise this eyebrow. But raising my eyebrow and like doing like a, not a pout, but like a kind of so I can cover my braces. So yeah, that's what works for me. And I figured that out by looking in the mirror and posing. The next tip is to save photos that you like on Instagram. So I used to think the save feature on Instagram was kind of weird. Like I was like, I can just screenshot it. But then I realized that it's like also saves space in your camera roll, but it's super easy. You just hit that little save button on the Instagram. Anytime you see a pose that you think is cool, an outfit that you like, hair, makeup that you like, because when you need inspiration, you can just scroll through your saved photos and see what you've saved. I do this all the time and this is what I do when I'm needing inspiration and it helps so much. You can even save some of mine. So the next thing is to put the effort into your hair and makeup. I promise it will look good in the long run. I personally am a person that wears like about this much makeup and on a daily basis. But in photos, I wear winged eyeliner, I do my eyebrows, I wear mascara, I do wear foundation, wear all this stuff. And so I'm like, ew, I look like a cake face. But then when you go and take the photo on camera, it looks very natural and doesn't look like you're wearing a ton of makeup. So I think that you guys should take the time to actually do your makeup and apply a little bit extra. If you don't wear makeup and you're just not about that, then you know, just skip this step. But if you do wear makeup, apply a little bit extra because a little extra goes a long way on especially in front of the camera because that camera can make you look very washed out and applying a little bit more makeup helps a ton and also invest in your hair like either not not invest but like take the time to do your hair because every time I'm like oh my hair is fine I'll just like I'll be fine it but the photos always turn out gross like maybe my face doesn't look that bad but like my hair looks so atrocious I really think you guys should just take the extra like 10 minutes to do a, a very pretty braid on your hair or to uh, straighten it or to curl it every time I do it I don't ever regret it. So the next tip is for inside if you're taking photos to face the window. So if the window, if my hand is the window and I'm me, I want to be facing the window so that way the natural light is coming onto my face. And that's the best way to get natural lighting in your photos and the best lighting possible. So if you guys are outside, I would suggest taking photos in the shade or if there's no shade around you, then just take photos so you're back facing the sun. That way you get a backlight and like a pretty like golden hour type look that works well for me. I saw this from another YouTuber, so, but this is not my thing. I did not come up with this. But basically if you are shooting in direct sunlight and you have to like kind of look towards the sun or you're like looking up, then it close your eyes for like like five seconds and look at the sun so like this like pretend my hands the sun and then when you open up your eyes your eyes should be pretty much adjusted a little bit more that way it's not as painful when you're like opening up your eyes because i know that whenever i do that like my eyes like i start to cry because it's so like my eyes water so much because the sun's so bright but that just helps your eyes adjust them so if you guys do not want to go outside and you want more of an indoor studio look but you don't want to go to a studio you can create your own very easily by going to the dollar store and picking out some wallpaper that they have so we used to do this all the time sorry i said wallpaper but i mean wrapping paper like for presents so you can buy like a bright pink one of wrapping paper and then cut off a little bit tape it onto the wall and then you can just take pictures and it looks like you have like you're in a pink wall studio which is so cool i'll insert some photos of when i've done it i did the yellow one a blue one pink one and they're all from dollar store so it costs like a total of three bucks but if you are going to be shooting outside i would suggest when you're not going on the photo shoot to just always be location scouting and this is where you either drive before the photo shoot or you just dedicate a day to driving around your city driving around nearby cities to find pretty locations to shoot at so if you're old enough to drive then I would suggest driving around your city or driving around local cities or nearby cities to find a pretty places that way when you do want to do a photo shoot you already have all these locations in mind and if you are not able to drive then just walking around your neighborhood you never know which neighbor has a very cute bush planted in front of their house full flowers so you can just go stand in it that's cute so cute so yeah just go location scouting it's super awesome and it's also super fun if you like 
to your few friends with you. You can go talk, just walk around, exercise, funness, and location scouting. Okay, that was lame, I'm sorry. So as for posing, I don't have many tips. I'll give you guys some right now, but like just positioning your body weight onto your back leg can give you length in your body. But I'll link down below a few videos that have helped me with posing and with being more comfortable in front of the camera. And so yeah, I'll link those down below. Go make sure to go check those out. This is not a collaboration with anyone, a sponsorship with anyone, nothing. I just, these are just truly videos that I really like. So go check them out in the description box. And that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned a few more tips and tricks for your Instagram photos or Tumblr photos or your Tinder photos. So go enjoy. So that's it. Go subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And that's it. I said that's it like five times. Make sure you guys hit the like button. What? Make sure you guys hit that like button and you subscribe and turn on notifications. I mean, you don't have to, but if you're in the mood to, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Well, I'll ask me better when we make it to the other side.